Are you tired of this happening while you're trying to tame a mantis? My name's Duckworsa, and today I'll show you how to tame a mantis, and if you stick around, I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tamed mantis. First off, let's prepare. The only item that mantis will accept is deathworm horns. You can find deathworms in two locations. The first is the ice worms of the frozen dungeon on the Ragnarok map. While these do have a much reduced HP, there's still no joke to kill because you cannot bring anything larger than a shoulder mounted creature to fight them. I also need to note here that once the desert portion of the Ragnarok map opens up, it is expected that normal death worms will be available to kill there. The other option and easiest to gather will be in the dunes of the Scorched Earth map. If you're trying to tame a level 150 mantis on a vanilla tame rate server, you'll need at least 15 deathworm horns. Before I get to taming strategies, I have to let you know that you need to be at least level 40 in order to tame a mantis, and the saddle comes at level 50. Some other things you need to do in order to prepare. Make lots of bug repellent. Each bug repellent will last for 10 minutes, and it's expected to take about an hour to tame a level 150 mantis at a default rate, so prepare accordingly. Don't forget to give repellent to any creature that you bring with you. Be prepared to isolate the mantis either by trapping it, carrying it away with a quetzal or wyvern, or killing everything in the area around it that could interfere with the taming process. Now that you've done all of that, now it's time to tame your mantis. Since I have a high tame rate, I'm not going to worry about trapping the mantis, I'm just going to follow it around. Put the death worm horn in the last slot of your hot bar, apply your bug repellent to any person or creature who's going to be near you while taming, walk up to the mantis, press your interact button to give it the death worm horn, make sure you don't get too close or stick around too long else the mantis will attack you despite the bug repellent. You can feed the mantis every 3 minutes and need to reapply the bug repellent every 10 minutes. Congratulations on your newly tamed mantis. Now for the neat facts that I promised you earlier. Mantis can equip all manner of equipment from picks and hatchets to swords and torches. This makes the mantis good for everything from a generalized gatherer to a combat mount to a taming mount that can knock out everything with a high-end club. For a full list of equipment that the mantis can use, I'll leave a link to the wiki article in the description of this video. Also, the secondary attack of the mantis is a large leap that deals considerable damage. That's all I've got for today. If this video was helpful, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe for all my video updates. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.